Okay, so here we've got another question relating to arithmetic series. So there's this notation that we need to know. So this sigma notation, it means the sum. So wherever you see this sigma, it means the sum. And we need to know what these numbers mean. So R is 1 down here. This is the first number. So that's going to be the first thing we substitute in. We're going to substitute in 1 first. And we're going to end. So the last one we substitute in is going to be 5. So we're going to sum. So this progression, we're going to substitute in 1, 2, 3, 4, and end at 5, adding them all together. So summing them, adding them together. So the first one, I'm going to substitute in 1. So 2 ones plus 1. So 2 plus 1 is 3. Then I'm going to substitute in 2. So 2 twos plus 1. Then 2 threes plus 1. 2 fours plus 1. And end into the last one, 2 fives plus 1. So this means the sum of this progression, 2r plus 1, starting with 1 and ending with 5. So starting by substituting 1, ending by substituting 5. And we substitute all the numbers in between, add them all together, and that should give us our answer. So we've got 20, 35. So the answer is 35. Same thing again here, only we're going to start with R is 3 this time and end with 8. Because these are arithmetic progressions still, so we've got the common difference every time, we could use the sum formula, um, but if there's not many numbers, it's probably easier to just add them up. If they gave you a lot of numbers, remember the sum formula is n over 2a plus l, or n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1 times d. We would only have to use that if they gave us a lot of numbers. Uh, with this one only having six numbers in it, it's probably just as easy to write them out and add them up. So if we write them out, starting with r is 3, so substituting it in, 15 take away 2 3s, 15 take away 6 is 9, and then 15 take away 2 4s. This one's going to go down in 2s, so 15 take away 2 5s, 15 take away 2 6s, 15 take away 2 7s, and 15 take away 2 8s be minus 1. Then we add them up, so that's 0, 10, 19, 24. Okay, the third question is different because they've told us what it adds up to and we've got to work out n. So we've got to work out what the end number was. Uh, again, two ways of doing it. We could substitute into the formula. We'd have to work out a and d first. And to do that, we'll just have to work out the first two terms. But yeah, again, probably just as easy to write them out and find out how many numbers it takes to get 55 because there's not going to be that many numbers until we get to 55. So the first term, 2, 1, starting with 1, 2, 1s plus 5 is 7, and then 2, 2s plus 5, 9, and so on, 2, 3s plus 5, 2, 4s plus 5, to 5s plus 5, and I think that's 16, 27, 40, 45. So n is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. n equals 5. We could have used the sum formula. Um, it would give us a quadratic to solve. So let's, ha let's have a look at doing that. So sn equals n over 2, 2a plus n minus 1 d and we know a is 7 and the difference is 2. You may have to work out the first few terms to figure that out. Um, that's going to be the difference. Um, like the nth term, the thing with the n, the thing with the r is the difference. Um, or you can just write out the terms 
but yeah, you might have to write a few out to find out. So the sum is 55, and that equals n over 2 times 2 sevens plus n minus 1 times 2. So if I get rid of divide by 2 by times in both sides by 2 first, 110 is 255s. And then I've just got n here now, 14, and expand the bracket at the same time, 2n minus 2. So 110 is n times 14 take away 2 is 12, plus 2n. And then 110 equals 12n plus 2n squared. We've got a quadratic, so to solve a quadratic, we need to make it equal to zero. And I'm going to write the n squared term first, then the n term, minus 110. So I want to factorise it. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to half it. They're all even numbers. n squared plus 6n minus 55. And then I'm going to factorise it. So... We're looking for what multiplies to make 55, adds to make a 6, it's going to be 11 and 5, plus 11 minus 5. So that would give me n is minus 11, or n is 5. n can't be a negative, so it has to be 5. So I think it was probably easier to write out the numbers there, um, rather than solving the quadratic. But both methods work, both methods work. So here's a few more questions. Uh, see if you can give these ones a go. So see if you can figure out so the sum for the first two and then n for the last one. Okay, so we've got starting with r is 1 going up to 4. So 5 ones is 5, take away 9 is minus 4. 5 twos is 10, take away 9 is 1. 15 take away 9 is 6, and 20 take away 9 is 11. So just adding them up now, so we've got 17, 18, take away 4, so that's 14. Okay, so starting with R is 2 this time, the first one we're going to substitute is 2, and we're going to end at 7. So 14 take away 3 twos. 14 take away 6 is 8, and then we should be going down in 3s. So we'll do the next one just to check. 14 take away 3 3s, 14 take away 9 is 5. And we're going to just go down in 3s, so that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And I'll check on the last number as well, so 14 take away 3 7s, 14 take away 21 is minus 7. So let's add these up now. So we've got, say, 10, 15, and then minus 5 is 10, minus 7 is 3. And finally, we've got to figure out what n is. So the first term is 4 1s plus 1. And then four twos plus one, four threes plus one, going up in fours. So how many does it take to get to 90? So five, 14, 27, 44, 65, maybe one more. So that'd be 25, 90. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So N is six.